Welcome to the Tech Rentals presentation on the TA Scope diagnostic system for the balancing of hydronic valves in hydronic heating and cooling systems. The system comprises of three main components. We have our connectors, we have our differential pressure sensor, and we have our actual control unit, the scope here. First thing is to actually learn how to turn the units on, which is quite a simple process of utilizing the button on the left hand side of the keypad. From there we need to start up the DP sensor and again that's quite a simple process of just pressing down on the button holding on it and you'll see the green light come on. The button next to it is, or the indicator next to it, is actually for the battery to ensure that, that is correct. If that comes up in red then the unit will need to be recharged. The system uses a keypad in order to navigate. It is simply navigated by pressing the buttons around the unit. Once you actually get to the area that you want, we select by pressing the middle button. The second component of the system is the DP sensor unit, which is here. A couple of key things to look for on here, as I mentioned before, is the battery indicator to make sure that that is okay. The next thing is to actually look for the serial number of the unit, which is made it's located down through here. When you're actually doing testing, one of the things that it will ask you to do is to calibrate the unit. In order to calibrate the unit on the side of the device, we have this switch, which we press across, and that will then calibrate. Once it's calibrated, it will make a beep. Once that beep comes, we release it from the calibration mode, and it's now in full operational mode. The final components are the actual sensors themselves, which we use to measure the differential pressure. The units themselves are inserted into the valve and into the actual DP sensor itself. They are color coded, red for the high pressure side of the valve and blue for the low pressure of the side of the valve. Now that we've identified the actual components of the system, the key thing to do once we have this running is to actually make sure that this device can talk to the sensor. To do that we go back down using the arrow down button and then the arrow across to navigate across the screen to where we have the information. We then press enter using the big round button in the middle and on here you will see we have all the different sensors listed that this has been connected to. In this particular case we're looking for a device with a serial number where the last three digits are 346. You can see if we highlight the actual sensor it will tell us which one is connected to. The second thing to look for is to ensure that the unit is in calibration. By selecting the actual unit, the full information and status of the unit is displayed in the lower part of the screen. Okay, so now that we've identified all of the components, what we need to do is to start taking some measurements. In order to do that, we need to put the system together. Quite a simple process of taking the different sensors and inserting them, making sure we have everything color coded, blue to blue, and red to red. From there we then take the device and we select the valve that we want to test. In this case we're going to test the new Corin Anderson TBVCMP pressure independent control and balancing valve. We simply select, select again and we insert the low pressure sensor into the low pressure side of the valve and the red sensor again into the red into the high pressure side of the valve. Just simply push down and click and make sure it's all fully connected. Now that we've put the system together, the next thing that we need to do is to start taking some measurements. In order to do that, we select the quick measure selection using the keypad as per before. We press enter and bring that up. In a case where we're looking to do a, a simple flow measurement, again we select and that brings it up. From there what we do is we will determine what flow rate we require and in this case we're looking for 0.05 litres per second. We can however change that quite simply using the keypad to 0.04 for example. The next stage is to actually identify the valve family. By doing that we press enter on here and we have a wide range of choices. In this particular case we're using what we call a pick valve, pressure independent balancing and control valve. If we were using a standard balancing valve, we can again select from that menu. Once we've selected the type of valve that we're using, we can then select the family, which as I've mentioned before is the TBV CMP. From there we go down and we can select the individual models by utilizing the keypad again 
and we can go up and down until we get the right size and nomenclature of the valve. Now that we've actually selected the valve that we want, we simply go backwards and we go back in and the first thing that we do is we tell it how open the valve is. The valve is currently at five tones. So again, we can select that and we can simply alter that and make that six tones as the valve is currently set to. Once we have that, we just simply press measure and it will ask us to calibrate as you can see on the screen, which again, as per before, we click. We then await for the beep, which we just have there, and then we disengage the calibration. And as you'll see on the screen, we will now have an indication of the flow and the differential pressure. The TA scope has a multitude of features and tools that can be used within it. For further information, please feel free to contact us and or TA Hydronics.